another walk around video it's such a nice day today not too hot which hasn't been the case for several months it seems a shame to be stuck indoors so i'm picking my lad up this afternoon i've gone out quite early and i'm going to walk around for a, a few hours before i pick him up and what i'm going to do is just look at the type of signs that i look at all the time there's so much written information in thailand there's a, a huge amount some is just interesting good to know others is other information is quite important and if you can't read thai you just miss everything so it's a, another really good reason for trying to learn to read here's a word that confuses me so if you can enlighten me it would be appreciated so the We've got two lines of big text, and the bottom line says Rat Wang Fai Fa, uh, beware of electricity. And the top line is, is one word, and it's the word for dangerous. And Tho, tho Tao and Ro Rua are a consonant cluster. So there shouldn't be an implied vowel. So it, it should be pronounced Am Trai. But Thais always see Am Ta Rai you know with, with an implied vowel and I, I don't know why this restaurant is closed today but there's a sign outside and it's only opened fairly recently i went there last week and it's quite good actually and there's several clues here that tell me it's a, a muslim restaurant uh, first a picture of the guy with the um the hat looks like a, a muslim hat then a roti and tea so you know roti is very common in muslim restaurants and then soup so that's um beef soup and thai thai restaurants are very big on pork and of course muslim restaurants don't have any pork but they often have beef which you don't normally find in thai restaurants so if you see if you see beef advertised it's, it's probably a muslim restaurant uh cow cow mok guy that's what i had last week uh Kakao Mokgai, yes, that's the, like the, the yellow rice and with, with chicken, it's uh, really good. And at the bottom, Kao Mun. Kao Mun, they use the sort of fat out of the chicken and mix it with the rice, so it's, um, the rice is a bit sticky. Uh, gang, which is curry. Gung, shrimp. And at the bottom, Gang Nua, so beef curry. Here's another sign. The shop is called Jia Hat Yai, which is where it is. And the first yellow line says, well it's, it's actually an English word, it's been transliterated into Thai with a Thai pronunciation. Sukuta, so scooter. And five R, electric scooters. And below that, Jakrayan, uh, which is like bicycle, five R. So electric bicycles and scooters. Um, but it's open from uh, 9 in the morning until 7 at night and in Thai at 1900 would, would be Mung, Mung Tum because Thai use a 6 hour clock uh, this word is Origan service Nan work Som Som is um, Som to repair so they, they'll repair electric bicycles and scooters and jam jam nai like for for sale alai alai is spare parts and here's a shop with all the electric scooters and bicycles this is another very common sign uh, it's one i've done before in my videos just two words hai chao which means for rent so if you're looking for a place to rent to live or a, a, a shop to operate a business in look out for these signs and what you find in thailand is that a lot of land is for rent as well thai seem very reluctant to sell land they like to rent it so they can get a rental income and then when the rental period is finished the land is still theirs to sell this is a sign that you see everywhere and actually it's quite unfortunate so the the big word in yellow harm uh, that means like don't do something so the whole heap is a High class initial consonant, second tone mark, so that gives us a falling tone. And then below that, ting kayat, 
body wayne knee so ting like throw away kayak rubbish but body wayne knee is like this this area and um, people shouldn't need to be told not to do this you know what sort of upbringing did they have but unfortunately there are a lot of tires that will just throw rubbish anywhere it, it's really sad to see so if they don't want rubbish thrown everywhere they have to put up signs and as i said you, you do see these signs everywhere the water in the canals here is fairly clean there's a, a guy here who's fishing using a crossbow and he tells me that the fishes he catches can actually be eaten in the uk we have mobile phones in the us it's cell phones in germany handies and in thailand it's mu tu mu hand and tu to, to carry and this shop sells mobile phones and it also sells mobile phones on credit which is what this top line is about pop on is to buy something on credit and it seems to be how most tires buy most things and to buy a mobile phone on credit you need to be above a certain age so are you age to bad b 18 years couldn't can buy over 18 and what do you need you need a clutch arch on which is the Thai ID card by, by the owl just need one one ID card uh, tang, tang chart go upon die so um, you don't need to be Thai to buy a phone on credit other nationalities can too an um, so to, to be approved is easy and pan took case so every case will, will pass uh, Pondai Tang. I think Tang means both. So Pondai, you, you can get credit. So it's basically saying that you know anyone who's over 18 with a, with a an ID card can buy a phone on credit. Here are more English words that have been transliterated into Thai. So the name of the shop is Mi Di, and after that you'll see Sara Air, and then the Ho Nok Kuk. I mentioned before that when Thai is transliterate an English word. It starts with an H sound, they use ho, not ho, not ho heap. So that's hair, uh, you know, H H A I R. And because hair in English has an R at the end, they've put the ro, ru, the Thai R consonant at the end, but then they've put the garan because they don't really need it. And the next next word is D sign. So um, midi hair design. We've got four words here. So the first one is uh, open. Second one, body gun. So open for service. Took one every day. And let's see what they offer. So kundum is um, a word I covered on a previous video. Drinks. Lao. Lao. I think um, let's look at the uh, tone here. So we've got a high class initial consonant and the second tone mark so that's going to be a low tone lao and this one's an english word translated into thai beer uh, la lao is um like uh, spirits whiskey and things gap cow is um what i explained in an earlier video so this is where you order food in you know separate bowls if there's a lot of you and then Ahan Jan Diao. Uh, Jan is plate, Diao is like one. Ahan is food, so it's like a, a one plate dish. In the UK, if I was looking for a house or a room to rent, I'd probably go to a local estate agent or, or look in the classifiers in a lo local newspaper. In, in Thailand, th those things don't exist in a lot, a lot of places. They may do in Bangkok, but out in the provinces, it's different. People just put up a sign. Okay, so Hong. Hong Wang, which means Hong is room, Wang is, is available. You, this is also what you will see on taxis uh, when they're available. Hai Chao, which we've seen before, so um, room available for rent. If you ride a motorbike in Thailand and get a puncture, this is the sign you want to look out for. But Yang, I'm not sure what the putt means, but Yang is um, rubber or tyre, and um, it's a puncture repair service and this is the this is this is motorcycle it's been transliterated into Thai 
and then abbreviated, so Morsi. Here's another sign for a room available for rent. Hong Wang, hey chow. This one's got a bit more information. So this uh, second line, Raka Mai Pang. So the, the price is not expensive. Doesn't say how much. And then Mi Air, so it has air conditioning. Pat Lom, which is a fan. And this is an English word that's been transliterated into Thai furniture 